Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and welcome to the 157th episode of Best Tech Info and Rumors. All right, to start off earlier this week on the 10th, as I'm sure a lot of you are already aware, Apple unveiled both their iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C smartphones to the public. Now, although I did make a video that highlighted all of the points of the two devices, I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown here. So the iPhone 5S will be available in 16, 32, and 64 gigabyte capacity variations. Overall though, as far as appearance is concerned, the device is nearly identical to its predecessor, except the LED flash on the back. Apple is now calling this vertically elongated flash found on the iPhone 5S true tone. Apple did change the color setup slightly. So the traditional silver and white model that was introduced with the iPhone 5 is still available in the iPhone 5S. However, with the 5S, Apple will stop producing the Slayton black model. Instead, it's been replaced by what the company is calling Space Gray. They also introduced a new gold and white color scheme. Now, as far as under the hood changes are concerned, the 5S will be powered by Apple's all new 64-bit A7 processor with the co-processor they're calling the M7, which will handle motion data. Additionally, there have been improvements to the iPhone's optics, and with the iPhone 5S, Apple is the first to take mobile security to a whole new level. The device will feature Touch ID, which is capable of unlocking it and verifying iTunes purchases using only your fingerprint. Don't worry though, fingerprint data is encrypted and never sent out to Apple's servers. It's stored locally on a portion of the A7 chip itself. That's pretty much it though. As far as the iPhone 5S is concerned though, other than for whatever reason, this year Apple is not taking pre-orders for the iPhone 5S, only the iPhone 5C. And unfortunately, that device seems to be a slightly cheaper, more colorful version of the iPhone 5. There's only really a $100 difference between the iPhone 5S and the iPhone 5C. So if you're asking for my opinion, I'd recommend the iPhone 5S a thousand times over versus the iPhone 5C. However, though, of course, I will be getting both devices to provide you guys with some awesome videos on them and to give you some great comparisons. And if you missed the company's unveiling event, I did cover it live on Best Tech Info, and I'll have a link to that down below in the more info. So if you want to get caught up on it, or maybe you missed some details, then just be sure to check it out. And following the announcement of the 5S and the 5C, Apple seeded iOS 7 GM, or Gold Master Edition, to developers. Now the firmware is exactly what Apple will release to the public on the 18th, which is iOS 7's official release date. And if you want to get the firmware early and you're not registered through an Apple developer account, don't worry, there's a simple workaround and I will have a link to a video detailing that below. Now iOS 7 GM is important for a lot of reasons and I'm sure a lot of you will like what I'm going to talk about next, and that's jailbreaking. So I'm sure as most of you are already aware at this point, with the release of iOS 6.1.3, Apple effectively patched a number of key vulnerabilities that Evasion exploited to achieve an untethered jailbreak on iOS 6 through 6.1.2 on all devices. Well now, with the release of iOS 7 GM, the Evaders, the team behind development on the Evasion untethered jailbreak utility, are actively working on a new jailbreak for iOS 7. So Planet, being one of the four members of the Evaders, tweeted out something rather interesting after the release of iOS 7 GM. He said, quote, since everybody loves updates, Evaders have now started actively looking at iOS 7. And in a follow-up tweet, he said something even more exciting. Quote, achieved unsigned user land code execution with some stuff in our reserve. Now we have a good platform for poking the kernel. And following Planet Beings update, Pod2G and Pimskex, two of the other Evaders members, had a really interesting conversation on Twitter. So Pod2G revealed that he's more confident about a public iOS 7 jailbreak utility. And as for a release date or a time frame, unfortunately there isn't one. In his initial tweet, Pod2G said, quote, that doesn't mean soon. So although it's not likely that it will take months to develop an iOS 7 jailbreak like it did with the iOS 6 through 6.1.2 evasion utility, we won't know for sure until the evaders are able to get their hands on an iPhone 5S with Apple's new 64-bit A7 chip. Of course, though, I will keep you guys updated on everything related to jailbreaking. I am planning on making a separate video on the topic later, so just be sure to stay tuned for that. And I also just wanted to mention that Best Tech Info is going to go through some radical changes here pretty soon, and I will keep you guys informed on all of that. But the best place to be for Apple news and tutorials is right here on my YouTube channel. And if you want a chance to enter into my $100 Amazon gift card giveaway, simply rate this video up and hit that subscribe button to be notified every time I release new videos. Also, be sure to leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section, and once your comments been posted, you'll be automatically entered to win. Now, if you don't know what to leave in the comment section, try answering the question of the day. So let me know what you guys think about Apple's iPhone 5S and iPhone 5C smartphones. Again, in the comment section or on Best Tech Info. And to be updated more often, simply like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and add me one of your circles inside of Google+. And until next time.
This is ACU signing out.